Okay. That's one. Try to get inside if possible. Cause that looks like an awesome little house. I want a house like that. Pretty little house by the sea. Right on the water. Untargeted there for a second. It's your fault, not mine. By the way, the person whose fault it is, is this chick right here. This little pointy-eared avatar of moi. Her fault. All her fault. my death is certain. It's in the realm of eventuality. Yours, however, is happening now. Damn, these guys hit hard. That's two fragments. <gasps> hey, there's something inside. Oh, oh, we gotta go inside now. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta. Woo! This looks comfy. You don't. Interrupting a girl when she's just trying to relax with a book and some chocolate cake. See? There's a chocolate cake. There's the book. Nice cushy bed that I could jump on. Hee <laughs> hee. You are <laughs> sneaking up on me like that. Shame on you. All right, where were we? That's right. Uh, give these some time to recharge. Oh, I hate recharge time. It used to just be a cooldown time. There wasn't this whole charge, recharge mechanic thing. Before Legion. It was a lot simpler. Alright. Eat fire. Yes, Millhouse, you did.
Yep, these suckers are tough. Oh, nice. Look at all the books. And look at that tome. Looks like she was working on some spiffy grimoire. Have I done the winemaking quest in Suramar yet? I don't believe so. I've done the wine delivery. You know, stealing wine from near the loyalists and redistributing it to the needy populace. And you know, it's interesting what that quest was, because what you have there is the leader at the top, Magistrix Elisanda, creating an artificial shortage to keep the population brought to heel. That's actually something that people in past governments have done. There is no shortage. They just make one up and restrict things to the people that they're governing to keep them in line. Keep them from speaking out and thinking freely. And it's a dick move. It's looking out for their own needs instead of the needs of the people. But it happens. <laughs> yes, please. They are rifling through my drawers, thieving rats. Please recover my belongings. So we've got a ton of scrolls here. Oh, I can only imagine what's on them. So many arcane secrets. Basket of clothing. What's a sleuth like you doing in a lady's wardrobe, huh? Seeing as how you're a lady yourself, I'll bet you wanted the lustrous shoes or something. Right, right? Likely story. You've done it. Guard it well until you can return to me. Will do. Two is gonna have to die. That one, most likely. He's too close. and more crits. I love it when my hits are crits. My robes. Oh, I miss these. I hope they still fit. You face Millhouse the Magnificent! Notice how those cracking slices just eat my ice shield in one hit. <laughs> Here, have some illusions. Chew on them. Ouchie. Do you think Phyllis will notice if I, you know, just take one 
one tome from her stack. Just one. You know, like, if I borrow it, but promise to give it back. <laughs> Looks like those are on the boat ready to ship out already. Cracks my ice in one hit. Oh, oh, pain. You lost it. Just in case the library does not survive Elisan's insanity, I will keep an eye on these tomes. Okay, is that everything she needs? Private correspondence, oh, yeah. Can't let that fall into the hands of the enemy. Ooh, no. <laughs> yes, I am squishy. Squishy, squishy me. But though I may be squishy, I am fierce. Rawr! different part of the estate. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. All five are not going to stay alive. You first. <laughs> 